Chapter 4, an appendix to the family of Judah. Sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobel. Reiah, Shobel's son, had Jahath, and Jahath had a Humai and Lahad. These made up the families of the Zorathites. Sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. Their sister was named Hazalel Ponai. Penuel had Geter, and Ezer had Husha. These were the sons of Hur, firstborn son of Ephrathah, who was the father of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Neira. Neira gave birth to her husband, Hefer, Tamini, and Heahashtari, Neira's children. Hela's sons were Zerath, Zohar, Ethnan, and Kaz, who had Anab, Hazabiba, and the families of Aharlal, son of Haram. Jabez was a better man than his brothers, a man of honor. His mother had named him Jabez, oh the pain, saying, a painful birth, I bore him in great pain. Jabez prayed to the God of Israel, bless me, oh bless me, give me land, large tracts of land, and provide your personal protection. Don't let evil hurt me. God gave him what he asked. Caleb, Shua's brother, had Meher, Meher had Eshton, Eshton had Beth Repha, Pasia, and Tehina, who founded Irnehash, city of smiths. These were known as the men of Rika, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel, and Sariah, the sons of Othniel, Hathath, and Meonathai. Meonathai had Ophrah. Sariah had Joab, the founder of Geharishim, colony of artisans. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, Iru, Elah, and Naab. The son of Elah, Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel, Ziph, Zipha, Tyria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Epher, and Jalen. One of Mered's wives, Pharaoh's daughter, Bethiah, gave birth to Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. His Judean wife gave birth to Jered, father of Gedor, Heber, father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, father of Zenoah. The sons of Hodiah's wife, Nahum's sister, the father of Kila, the Garmite, and Eshtemoa, the Maacathite. The sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rina, Ben-Hanan, and Tylan. The sons of Ishai, Zohath and Ben Zohath, the sons of Shela, son of Judah, Ur, the father of Lika, Leada, the father of Marisha, and the family of linen workers at Beth Ashbia, Jochem, the man of Koziba, and Joash and Seraph, who ruled in Moab and Jeshubai Lehem. These records are from very old traditions. They were the potters who lived at Nedeim and Kedira, resident potters who worked for the king. The family of Simeon, the Simeon family tree, Nemuel, Jamin, Jerob, Zerah, and Shaul. Shaul had Shalom, Shalom had Mibsam, and Mibsam had Mishma. The sons of Mishma, Hamuel had Zachar, and Zachar had Shimei. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers were not nearly as prolific and never became a large family like Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada. Hazar Shaul, Bila, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susam, Beth Birai, and Sharam. They lived in these towns until David became king. Other settlements in the vicinity were the five towns of Edom, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Asian, and all the villages around these towns as far as Baalath. These were their settlements, and they kept good family records. Meshabab, Jamalek, Josha, the son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, the son of Joshabiah, the son of Sariah, the son of Asiel, Elioni, Jacobah, Jeshohiah, Esiah, Adiel, Jesamiel, Benaiah, and Ziza, the son of Shiphai, the son of Alan, the son of Jediah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. All these were the leaders in their families. 
They prospered and increased in numbers, so that they had to go as far as Gedor, Gerar, to the east of the valley looking for pasture for their flocks. And they found it. Lush pasture, lots of elbow room, peaceful and quiet. Some Hamites had lived there in former times. But the men in these family trees came when Hezekiah was king of Judah and attacked the Hamites, tearing down their tents and houses. There was nothing left of them, as you can see today. Then, they moved in and took over because of the great pasture land. Five hundred of these Simeonites went on and invaded the hill country of Seir, led by Pelatiah, Muriah, Rephiah, and Uzael, the sons of Ishai. They killed all the escaped Amalekites who were still around, and they still live there. Chapter 5. The Family of Reuben The family of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. Though Reuben was Israel's firstborn, after he slept with his father's concubine, a defiling act, his rights as the firstborn were passed on to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel. He lost his firstborn place in the family tree. And even though Judah became the strongest of his brothers, and King David eventually came from that family, the firstborn rights stayed with Joseph. The sons of Reuben, firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The descendants of Joel, Shemaiah, his son, Gog, his son, Shimei, his son, Micah, his son, Reiah, his son, Baal, his son, and Bera, his son, whom Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, took into exile. Bera was the prince of the Reubenites. Bera's brothers are listed in the family tree by families. First, Jeiel, followed by Zechariah, then Bela, son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel. Joel lived in the area from Aror to Nebo and baal Meon. His family occupied the land up to the edge of the desert that goes all the way to the Euphrates River, since their growing herds of livestock spilled out of Gilead. During Saul's reign, they fought and defeated the Hagrites. They then took over their tents and lived in them on the eastern frontier of Gilead. The family of Gad were their neighbors in Bashan, as far as Salica. Joel was the chief, Shaphan the second in command, and then Janai, the judge in Bashan. Their brothers by families were Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jerai, Jachin, Zaya, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abahel, son of Hurai, the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshashai, the son of Jado, the son of Buzz. Ahai, son of Abdiel, the son of Gunai, was head of their family. The family of Gad lived in Gilead and Bashan, including the outlying villages and extending as far as the pastures of Sharon. They were all written into the official family tree during the reigns of Jotham, king of Judah, and Jeroboam, king of Israel. The families of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 44,760 men trained for war, physically fit, and skilled in handling shield, sword, and bow. They fought against the Hagrites, Jeter, Naphish, and Nodat. God helped them as they fought. God handed the Hagrites and all their allies over to them because they cried out to him during the battle. God answered their prayers because they trusted him. They plundered the Hagrite herds and flocks, 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 donkeys. They also captured 100,000 people. Many were killed because the battle was God's. They lived in that country until the exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh had a large population. They occupied the land from Bashan to Baal Hermon, that is, to Sinir, Mount Hermon. The heads of their families were Ephor, Ishai, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel, brave warriors, famous, and heads of their families. But they were not faithful to the God of their ancestors. They took up with the ungodly gods of the peoples of the land whom God had gotten rid of before they arrived. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pol, king of Assyria, Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, to take the families of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh into exile. He deported them to Hela, Habor, Hera, and the river of Gozan. They've been there ever since. Chapter 6 The Family of Levi 
the sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel. The children of Amram were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar had Phineas, Phineas had Abishua, Abishua had Bucai, Bucai had Uzai, Uzai had Zerahiah, Zerahiah had Moriah, Moriah had Amariah, Amariah had Ahitub, Ahitub had Zadok, Zadok had Ahimaaz, Ahimaaz had Azariah, Azariah had Johanan, and Johanan had Azariah, who served as priest in the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah had Amariah, Amariah had Ahitub, Ahitub had Zadok, Zadok had Shalom, Shalom had Hilkiah, Hilkiah had Azariah, Azariah had Sariah, and Sariah had Jehozadak. Jehozadak went off to exile when God used Nebuchadnezzar to take Judah and Jerusalem into exile. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimei. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzael. The sons of Merari were Malai and Mushai. These are the Levitical clans according to families. The sons of Gershon were Libni his son, Jehath his son, Zimna his son, Joah his son, Ido his son, Zerah his son, and Jeathirai his son. The sons of Kohath were Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Asir his son, Elkanah his son, Abiasaph his son, Azer his son, Tehath his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shaul his son. The sons of Elkanah were Amasai and Ahimoth, Elkanah his son, Zophai his son, Nahath his son, Eliab his son, Jeroham his son, and Elkanah his son. The sons of Samuel were Joel his firstborn son, and Abijah his second. The sons of Merari were Malai, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Uzzah his son, Shimei his son, Haggaiah his son, and Aziah his son. David's Worship Leaders these are the persons David appointed to lead the singing in the house of God after the chest was placed there. They were the ministers of music in the place of worship, which was the tent of meeting until Solomon built the temple of God in Jerusalem. As they carried out their work, they followed the instructions given to them. These are the persons, together with their sons, who served by preparing for and directing worship. From the family of the Kohathites was Heman, the choir master, the son of Joel, the son of Samuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tehath, the son of Esir, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Koath, the son of Levi, the son of of Israel. Haman's associate, Asaph, stood at his right hand. Asaph was the son of Berechiah, the son of Shimei, the son of Michael, the son of Baasiah, the son of Melchijah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, the son of Arai, the son of Ethan, the son of Zima, the son of Shimei, the son of Jehath, the son of Gershom, the son of Levi. Of the sons of Merari, the associates who stood at his left hand was Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malak, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amasiah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzai, the son of Bani, the son of Shemer, the son of Malai, the son of Mushai, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. The rest of the Levites were assigned to all the other work in the place of worship, the house of God. Aaron and his sons offered the sacrifices on the altar of burnt offering and the altar of incense. They were in charge of all the work surrounding the Holy of Holies. They made atonement for Israel following the instructions commanded by Moses, servant of God. These are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Bacchae his son, 
Uzziah his son, Zariah his son, Mariah his son, Amariah his son, Ahitab his son, Zadok his son, and Ahimaaz his son. The priestly cities. And these are the places where the priestly families were assigned to live. The first assignment went by lot to the sons of Aaron of the Kohathite family. They were given Hebron in the land of Judah and all the neighboring pastures. Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, got the fields and villages around the city. The family of Aaron was also given the cities of refuge, with pastures included Hebron, Libna, Jeter, Eshtemoa, Hylan, Deber, Ashan, and Beth Shemesh. They were also given Geba from the tribe of Benjamin, Elameth, and Anathoth, all with pastures included. In all, 13 cities were distributed among the Kohathite families. The rest of the Kohathites were given another 10 cities, distributed by lot from the half-tribe of Manasseh. The sons of Gershon were given, family by family, 13 cities from the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Manasseh in Bashan. The sons of Merari, family by family, were assigned by lot 12 cities from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. The sons of Israel gave the Levites both the cities and their pastures. They also distributed by lot cities from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. Some of the Kohath families were given their cities from the tribe of Ephraim, cities of refuge, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, Jachmim, Beth Horon, Aijalon, and Gath Rimmon, all with their pastures. The rest of the sons of Kohath were given Aner and Biliam with their pastures from the half tribe of Manasseh. The sons of Gershon were given, family by family, from the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan and Bashan, and Ashtaroth. From the tribe of Issachar, Kedesh, Dabareth, Ramoth, and Anam. From the tribe of Asher, Meshel, Abdon, Hukuk, and Rehob. From the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh and Galilee, Hammon, and Kiriathaim. The rest of the sons of Merari got Ramono and Tabor from the tribe of Zebulon, Bezer in the desert, Jaza, Kedemoth, and Mephaeth from the tribe of Reuben to the east of the Jordan, and Ramoth and Gilead, Maenaim, Heshbon, and Jazer from the tribe of Gad. Pastors were included in all these towns.